Hi everyone, welcome back to Vulcan. Okay, so la I've taken these down because as I realised that obviously at the end of the last episode, not needed, it's four individual rockets, I got confused with the support. So I'm going to reuse these and I've been having a quick look. So from what I understand, these are kind of like the shell of the rocket. So if I do this, oh, I need that. If I do this and put the top on, uh, we'll go for that one, why not? Um, and then, from what I gather, we put all of our stuff inside the rocket, connect it to that, and then we need to seal that up. And there's more, obviously more to it because we've got to do all the programming and stuff. Don't know how that works, so first things first, let me go and get the pipes that I need and also the landing platform thing. So we'll just get the airlock cycled and then cancel. Okay, so what do we need? I'm just going to... Have I got any pipes? I've got plenty of pipes. That's not the issue. I've got one of these landing... What are they called? L rocket launch tower. So we do that. Uh, assuming uh, you're going to need one of these for the base, then I put three bits of rocket on. So we're going to need four in total. So I'm going to just leave that going for a second. While that's printing, I will quickly get some water and food. See me having to come back in. Well, I'm going to have to come back in anyway, but meh. Right, open the waste tank. I also need to keep an eye on uh, my water supply because Obviously, I've not got my water maker thingy up a thing connected. Um, I've also been having a play with phase change between episodes. I'm not going to go into it right now because I'm bored of trying to figure it out. But long story short, I've got something which either is or isn't working. Who the hell knows? So, let me... Uh, we've got two printed. So, if I go one... Oh, and these stacks, that's nice. I get one more and then I don't know what these actually need to be well built. I'm guessing it's just steel sheets. Let's have a look. Launch tower. Uh they need oh it's just the launch tower. Okay, so let me nip out there. I wanna see well I don't know what ports the the rusher's got on it or anything. So let's just quit it back outside. It'd be really good if I can get this built today. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna. So what do we need? Uh, wait, what? 
Wait, is that how? Wait, has he blown? How? Oh, no, I forgot to turn my jetpack on. How, 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 how? No, where's he going? Oh, you little. Okay. Well, you don't like my rocket then. Huh. Well, that's... Uh... Hmm. What, so he doesn't want me getting off the planet? Oh, you... Oh, he's not... He's blown up my frames and everything. Oh, and my... Okay, I've got one spare mount, so that's fine. Oh, you... Ah, uh, okay. Well, if we're going to be getting that kind of behavior off him, we need to... Uh... Well, I need to ready myself, I think. Oh, I'm going to replace all these steel frames. Oh, what a... I'm going to say, what a knobhead. Um... Why is he even blowing that up with? I don't... <sighs> Fine. Um... Okay. How do I... So you're still good. You're still good. I need an angle grinder for this. Oh. Okay. I need to... Get myself a little bit more prepared because I didn't realize he was physically. Why would he? Well, he's obviously dropped me here and he wants me to stay on the planet. Well, it's not going to happen. I'm getting off this planet one way or another. So much scrap. <laughs> and that looks like elevator scrap, which is a bit odd, but whatever. Um. <sighs> okay, well. Uh, I've got to go and make more frames. And everything. How does... <sighs> well, I'm only assuming he was even on the ship. That could be a decoy. Wait, he stole... So he's, he's basically kidnapped my trader. Because that was a trader that I had here. You know what? I don't trust that he ain't going to come back. So I'm going to... I need to go get my frames and everything anyway. But I'm going to... Well, ready myself, I guess. Because I'm not... If he if he turns back up, he's going down. Oh, that sound is so corny. But I'm going with it. He's going down. We can make weapons, right? Pretty sure we can make weapons. Uh... Energy pistol, energy rifle. Well, that's bloody expensive, isn't it? Uh, I'll make an energy rifle. Why not? Electrum Invar Constantin. Uh, I've got Constantin and Invar. Do I have Electrum? I think I do. I just need 20 grams of it. That's not Electrum. That's my Electrum. Thank you. That's going to take as long as it takes to make. Uh, while we're waiting for that then, let's make some frames. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Sheets. Oh, I need to make the fuse thingies again. They were bloody expensive. Ugh. It won't be happening again. 100% will not be happening again. I need more steel. Luckily, I've got plenty. Well, this time we'll make it a bit bigger. So I need one for the bottom... That the ring thing, and then I want one, two, 
Or maybe we do only go small because I don't even know what to put in it. So we'll, we need four in total. Those. I'm going to assume the energy rifle, which... Oh, that is the... Yeah, I was about to say it looks like a hoover, but that's the... Uh, I've pressed the green now, haven't I? Uh, okay, so I've got you, got you, got you, got you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for you, really. Well, while I'm waiting, let me go and show you what I've done with the phase change. And I, I can't work out if it's working or not. I don't know. Um... But if I show you, and I, I I know that I need to like make some, I need to do a lot of, uh, well, I need to be playing with it a lot more. So this I've turned off. Basically, I'm trying to rely solely on my new system. So what I've done is I originally had an air, um, airlock, an AC here, which was cooling the CO2 and dumping the heat into the pollutant pipe. That's no longer happening anymore. That's gone. I've moved it over here. So I'm connecting my greenhouse gas, uh, which is just that. That's going into the AC and is dumping the heat into my CO2. That is for some reason 127 degrees. What? Why is that so high? I had this working. 126. I'm confused. This was working. Uh, obviously the, the the water system has been dumping into it so it's not working long story short I do have liquid pollutant in there just not enough for it to do its thing I'm still gaining pollutant somehow are you still pumping in? Oh, so we're at night time right now. Uh, uh, you're at 98.6, 141. You're not cooling the water down at all, but that's because the CO2 on this side is too hot. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's not even I've not even got the water leaking through. So why is that? Uh not too happy about that stress build up. That's because of the liquid. So I, what I did was I I upped the pressure that this would keep outputting at. And obviously now I'm not removing the liquid quick enough. So it's going to blow if I don't do something about it. So if we input you... Uh, wait, what? Import. That's not right. I must have overridden this chip. That is the, the wrong code. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave that off for now anyway, because it's not what I want to do right now. I need, I'm just going to revisit this. Uh, in my own time try and figure it out because I'm, I'm struggling um basically i need to change you so you don't turn on anymore so this is the wrong one if we go for the no it is the right one uh so you do all that blah 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 so i'm just gonna say if the pressure is less than, I'm going to say if it's less than one. I'm going to export that for now. 
because I don't want it turning on. For now, it can stay off. Although I do need to get some of the pressure out of that pipe. So let's just do one final. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Come on, I need all that pressure out of there, otherwise the pipe's gonna blow. Oh crap, that one's gonna blow. There we go. Come on, I don't want any accidents. I know this is gonna make my water up here really, oh, 80 degree water, crap. But yeah, I'll, I'll revisit this. I'll definitely, definitely revisit this. Uh, I don't know why the pressure is still going up when I have clearly... Oh, it's because this the the water is evaporating. That's why. That's fine. That won't turn on. I'm going to revisit this. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know why this is doing a thing. Twenty-two. You're just not getting enough liquid come through. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this isn't what I'm worrying about right now. Um, I need to arm myself, and I want to get a rocket built. Yeah. One thing I did with the CO two was I reduced the amount that I was holding because it was just taking forever to cool. And so I, 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 I dropped about two megapascals of CO2, just dumped it out. So I'm running on like one megapascal and it, it did cool. I, I promise it was cooling. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden it stopped working. What, well, how do you use this? Uh, I'm not using that battery, we'll use, I printed out some more. <gasps> well, look at that, set kill. <laughs> set to kill, set to stun. Oh, that's 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 good. Well, if if Hal makes another appearance, I'm ready for him. So let me just chuck that. I'll just chuck it in my inventory so I've always got access to it. Okay, so uh rocket stuff. I've got one, two, three. No more. Uh four. I think that's all I want. Four. Yeah, four of those. I need the engine bit. It was the is it pressure fed gas engine? Pressure fed pumped gas rocket engine. Yeah, I think we'll go for this one. Pumped gas rocket engine. Okay, so what else? Mm -mm -mm. Umbilical to place on, on the launch tower and connect between umbilical gas and umbilical socket gas placed inside the rocket. So that's how we pump our fuel in, I assume. Got to wait for this. Um uh, after we've done this, we're gonna need a oh I can do the computer now, can't I? So let's make another computer. Iron gold copper. Uh, and then after you, we want the rocket control. I need electrum and solder. You two can go back in. Right, so I've got you. So then we want. Uh, what was that needed? Got the computer. Umbilicals. Uh, power umbilical, liquid umbilical. Oh my god. 
shoe umbilical. Is there a gas umbilical, I assume? Yep, gas umbilical. So these are like the cables within the rocket then, are they? Because I've seen a power one as well. Gas angle, gas umbilical. What the? Socket. Okay. Uh, so is that how we get, so we get gas into this, which then connects to the rest of it? These don't stack, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Uh, you there. You there. Can't get you through the window. It's just annoying. Uh, you there and you there. Uh, I have my computer. Make me the motherboard. Okay, off, off. Uh, we'll leave that for now. Let me get my inventory somewhat emptied. Because bloody hell made it so I have to print more stuff off. To repair the platform. Uh, look at the state of it. Okay, uh, so I, I I took those off because I, well I was planning on eventually moving them, but obviously Howe's kind of cleared that up for me. So the middle is somewhere here. So if I get my frame, let's say we do there. So now I know how it's supposed to go. I need you. Okay, it goes there. Right, let me quickly tidy this uh, frame situation up. Oh, there's no frame there, so nothing for me to clean up. Then I need the grinder. Uh, one in there. Oh, I've missed this one. Let me sort that out as well. Okay. And we're still going to go with a relatively big platform because I don't know, obviously, what tanks we're going to need out here or anything. Fill all this in. Nice big platform. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. Well, that's not right, is it? Oh, yes, because the, the frame was made specifically for four. So let's bring all this out some more. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, and then here as well. Three, four, five. One there. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's somewhat in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Here it is. So if I get my welder. Oh, I need another battery for this in a second. I missed a frame. And we're out of battery. Amazing. Uh, okay, so... Nope, not you. You. See how long this nuclear battery lasts.
Okay, and then I've just got one at the bottom to weld. I'm not going to weld any of these up full because I don't know. Well, my aim is to make a silo, but we'll see whether that idea actually pans out or not. Uh, okay, what do I need? So I need screwdriver and steel sheets. These I have. Uh, welding torch. Okay, so that is our mount. And now what we needed was this type A1. Put the engine in. Does it matter the rotation? Oh, there's a switch. There's a switch in there. But how am I going to get to that switch when I get this welded? Because this switch is gone. How the hell am I supposed to turn that on? I guess I don't want it on until um, it's ready, but uh, now what? Steel sheets. Do you? Throttle 100, thrust none, velocity none, temperature none, flow rate zero. feel like this is going to be a bit ad more advanced for me. Bit too advanced for me, I should say. Right, put the lid back on. Don't know if this matters. Right, he better not come back and blow up my rocket. All right, launch towers. So how the hell allows mounting of war place devices upgrades allow upgrade to allow better placement area? What are you talking about? It's weird that you can actually place it over this. Right? That is weird, isn't it? I think. So if I was to do that. Okay. I don't really know. So that is just it, is it? I guess it, so you can place things in there, maybe? I don't know. Um, whatever. Uh, okay, let's stick computer right over here. If we do get this rocket to launch, it's we don't want it anywhere near us. Screwdriver. Okay. Um, I need power. Does this have ports? How do I? Uh, is there a variant to the thing? No, there's just that. How am I supposed to connect this to that? Oh, it's going to be via the umbilical stuff, isn't it? Okay, let's go and make some. Whoops. Don't need that on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gas umbilicals. But I need... So this is why you need the power umbilical. So, okay, this is making a bit more sense. Umbilical. So we've got power. I see my motor gonna need one of these. Or do you need like a sender and a receiver? Oh what's this? Umbilical socket angle power. What do you mean? Umbilical power must be placed inside a rocket tower. Uh I don't know what the difference is. Let me make two of these. Which would place it built inside the rocket tower? Don't know. Uh, okay. What else are we potentially going to need? We're going to need fuel tanks. 
Uh, don't know how much. Do we just need one fuel tank or do we need multiple fuel tanks? So this is tiny. Oh, okay. Now there is a medium one as well. Uh, so if we go for two, does this only need two maybe? Okay, so that is you. What else we got? Uh, a stairwell. Why would you want a stairwell? Oh, is that just so you can get up the thing? Maybe. Rocket circuit housing. Oh god, it's gonna need logic, isn't it? As well inside the rocket. Ugh. Um. Rocket battery is probably not a bad shout. Electrum, what was the other thing? And solder. Thank you. Stick you in there. Thank you. So that's the battery. Uh, got the launch mounts. Shoots. Um, my aim is going to be for this to bring me ice. That's what I want it to do. So I'm going to need that mining drill head ice. I need some steel. And now we get to wait forever. That's fine. Um, let me just make sure it doesn't make it more than one. Resource umbilicals are placed on the launch tower and connect between umbilical gas and umbilical socket gas placed inside the rocket. Uh, resource umbilicals are placed. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, it's a bit late here. Um, but not played for a few days. I've just been busy with work. A pair of data links are used to create a planet side logic uplink and rocket side rocket downlink thing. So logic. Nope. Nope. How do you make these links? Oh, rocket data link. So we want two of those. There's, oh, what does that say on it then? 100%. So you have to replace the heads as well. Yeah, okay. Fine. Everything is fine. Uh, nothing is stacking, which is also fine. I've got the data links. Uh, a rocket avionics should be placed in the rocket to act as the main rocket controller. So I need an avionics. That one. Okay, that's you. Um, rockets. Uh, do I need that? I don't know. Uh, shoot umbilical, fuse lead, gas umbilical, launch mount. Gas engine we've got got the battery oh cargo storage yeah not a bad shout we're gonna need that invar constantin oh there's so much invar there let's not do all that you and you because we're gonna want it to bring the ices back just thinking about it can the ice survive inside these umbilical things i hope so I'm going to need loads of heavy cable as well for this, aren't I? Uh, make me more cable. You and you. It's cable time. Make me loads. Uh, I'll get some more gold. We got plenty. Uh, 
Oh, multiple storages. I, I'm going to assume the more weight you put on, the uh, the more fuel it's going to use. So let's not go too ridiculous. Let's see what we can do. Big wham bam, gonna get you if I can. Right. How the hell does this work? So, power umbilical. It must be built inside a rocket tower. Oh, okay. So we do that. That can't be right. That must be the other way. And also, can we do it on this side? If I was to do that... No, no, no. Let me bring it up one. Eh. So we feed power into it. Input. And that's data... That's obviously how we turn it on or whatever. It's that, that's just nothing. Okay, so I need to feed power into there. These are how we're connecting to the rocket. And I assume that's fine. Is that going to get power? I don't know. Um, let's just carry on. So kit avionics, what is this? So, so wh wh where do I put this then? So just, I don't know, anywhere? At the bottom? Wait a second, I've got cabling in here. Oh, have I got to run power inside the rocket as well? Not just placing stuff in? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Huh. I feel... Well, we can pull power off there. That's our main line, isn't it? So, we will tidy this up. Because, obviously, I'm going to want this to be kind of supported from all four sides. So, if I just bring the power from here for now. Get wire cutters. And we'll, we'll make it look all nice and pretty at some other point. Bring this all the way across. Right, I need more heavy cable. Let's go grab some. I'll also get a transformer. I might need a medium transformer though for this. I don't know how much power the I assume it's going to need a lot. Well, it's, oh, I don't know. It's probably going to need more fuel than power, but... Oh, yeah. I need them as well. Right. Take you. And we'll take those two. Why not? Hydration critical. I'll sort it. I'll sort it. Uh, Transformer. I can make a medium out of you, right? Oh, you need three transformer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Transformer. Need iron. Well, I've got plenty of that. Oh, but we're not using you. We've got plenty here. Right. Make that. You go there. You come out. Right. You stack. You keep making cables. I want loads of these cables. So, just make all of those. One, two, de and de. Right, let me quickly go and sort out water, hunger, uh, gases and whatever. Okay, put you on the floor. Oxygen. What's the temperature in here? 38, 36. Uh, these guys aren't going to be happy. Is 
Is that nice noises or bad noises? I don't know anymore. Well, I've, I've never known. Uh, you as well. Oh, no. Okay, fine. Two half-eaten cereal bars. That is okay. <clears throat> I might go... Oh, I'll go quickly go and check on my CO2 now because I do not want my crops to die. I was really hoping I'd be able to... I don't know, have this face change ready by now. It's just going to take so long to just, just to get a, a, a basic understanding of it. Because sometimes I think I've got it, and then I just, I haven't. Like, how am I hotter? My water is off. That might be why. So I set this up so that I can decide how much CO2 I want in the system. I guess this is pumping in hot CO2 or has been. Uh, so currently it's set to 400, so I want at least 400 kPa in there. Uh, any higher than 400, and this just won't pressure anything else, just while I'm getting the cooling working. Uh, or trying to, anyway. So because my water side is now off, I mean, that's not doing bad at 52 degrees. That's pumping all of its heat into, because I've got radiators. So that's just putting its heat into the room. Uh, we've got 173 degrees steam. So it is coming down-ish, I think. But I don't... Okay, one second. Let me disconnect this. Trick you on the floor. But are you cooling at all? 133. No, you've got no pollutant. You are... But the whole system is empty, so I need to... I tried putting the condensation chamber back, um, but it still wasn't working, so I just thought, no, I'll connect it back how I had it prior to that, and then just see if I can make it do a thing. And it was working. I had it working. My CO2 was down to like 27 degrees. It was looking really good. But then I think I turned the water back on to kind of see how it how it went. And well, yeah, long story short, I may have forgotten uh, to turn it off. Is this now too hot to do anything with? I don't think it is. Uh, Celsius, please. Nope. 133 so i need to get it up to about five five you're currently set to five oh, that's why there's no condensation happening if we do that see if we can start cooling this system down the problem is it now doesn't have a heat sink so it's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter but that should be cooling this side Mm, it is, but very slowly. Very slowly. What are you set to? 3636. Three, six. Are you cooling? Are you doing anything? I don't know. What have we got? We've got 51 litres in there. And now this has just stopped condensing again. It's just, it's too hot. Um because it needs to dump its heat into something that is stable and my CO2 is not stable. Uh, at 137 degrees, you're only at 63.1. But there's just no liquid. I just, I just need more. So on the next cycle, what are we on? 342 degrees. We should hopefully see liquid pollutant come in and let's just see if we can get it working i know that my water isn't connected at this point i don't care about the water i need to sort something else out with that um but as long as i can get this heat out of this bloody pipe that pressure has gone dropped down consider oh because it's cooling yeah, yeah so because it is getting cooler the pressure was dropping you're idle which is fine Mm -hmm. 
still nothing coming in. We're almost there. Or just head to one thirty, I think, maybe. We're going back. Gonna get you if I can. We should start seeing this pressure build up in a second. I did find that adding more volume to this pipe seemed to help it store more liquid when I was doing it between episodes anyway. Whether it's doing it now, I have no idea. But it, I, I think it did. Come on. Get down to 130. Showing me up now. We had it all working. Now you've ruined it. And we should start seeing gas come in now. There we go. So gas comes in. Needs to hit about, what is it? I think it's four megapascals, four and a half. Yeah, mum. Right, there's the condensation that I had to hit at like five and a half megapascals, but whatever floats your boat. So we now have a buildup of liquid, which is evaporating in the pipe, but that's fine because that's just additional cooling. You're now feeding through here. So we've got 104, 103, 102. You should also be cooling, which you are very slowly. You should now be building up a reserve of liquid very slowly again. Come on. You can do it. The other option is I could turn those on to start helping the system because these have a backup of liquid pollutant just ready to be used. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, I could flick all these on. I just really wanted this to work. Shouldn't I have to have three evaporation chambers. So as it's cooling, the pressure is now dropping. You know what? Let's go for it. You're now using them a liquid. You're doing that. One, three, one, three, three, one, three, two. So look at that. Look how quickly that cools down by using three evaporation chambers. Hmm. Not really what I want. Um, uh, get them all on the same. They're not all fighting each other. What are you set to? Three six fifty. Oh, I haven't turned that off. You're going to be getting through this liquid pretty quickly. I think. But it's look at look at that massive help having three of them. Maybe I just need to bulk it up again. I don't know. It just seems. I guess the problem is my water is. You know what? Let's get this connected again. Right, you do you. You're now warming that up, which isn't great, is it really? Oh no, it went down. I saw it go down. It is going down. You're, you're dumping your heat into there, which means that you can start condensing again. So we should hopefully see cooling on this side, which we do. Very nice. But it's just, I mean, maybe you just need massive cooling for the water, which makes sense. Oh, it doesn't make sense because it's only coming in at 120 Summit degrees, 150 to summit. I don't know. Some kind of word. One fifteen, one fourteen, one thirteen. So yeah, we're we're starting to bring everything back down again. <sighs> okay, let's leave it. We'll just let it tick along and see what happens. Let's go and Get those cables and shove some stuff inside this rocket. 
just try and figure out how the hell it works. Do I have loads of cables now, I would have thought. Yeah, plenty. So you go there. You and you. Okay. Oh, that's a point, actually. I need to change my airlocks because everybody... Oh, it was actually pointed out on the episode with my wife. Um, who we would, we would well, I was told uh, that setting the airlocks to zero means that we obviously don't have to press the button. I was under the impression that um, pressing the button would stop it from depressurizing because the airlock would assume there's no pressure either side. But everybody's telling me that is wrong. It will always depressurize. It just won't try and pressurize. So I'll take everyone's word for it, and I will set that up shortly. See me having to press buttons, and then on mine and my wife's uh, kind of getting started playthrough, um, we'll do the same. Speaking of my wife, she um, doesn't hate the game. She's a uh, she she likes the game with purpose. So as long as I try and keep it. Um, so she's got to do something and she's happy to continue playing it. What's this? No rockets connected. Did I turn it on? I did not turn it on. Uh, oh yes, you're going to want data, aren't you? Uh, okay. I've got too many cables. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No rockets connected. Mm, what do you mean? Cannot open while in ever state. Oh, okay. So the rocket isn't connected to the actual thing uh, power umbilical so there was a umbilical socket power umbilical socket angled I don't know what the difference between oh I see so the umbilical would connect into there and then the difference between this one and this one is that the okay which means I need to uh I put that there, and for now, no, 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 okay, wait, 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 let's do an angle one. Can I take it any lower? I mean, it lets me. If I do that, and then do this. That gonna work so i'm gonna have to move this up so if i do there maybe get this taken out uh bring this up Right, if I do that, so I can still see the buttons. Ah. So that's class is connected, is it? Okay. No, it isn't. It says no rockets connected. Eh? Now are you connected? Mm. So that retracts it. So it's going in. There you go, it's connected. Don't know how this works, but it's definitely connected.
on, retract, you don't do anything. Mm. No rockets connect. Okay, is there... Maybe i got to put some more of this other stuff in. So let's put a... Avionics in. Do you need an umbilical connected? I don't think you do. I stick that there. And now what do you need? Screwdriver and electronic parts. You could have told me. I know if I had checked the HMP, it would have told me. But in my defense, I didn't look. Tied in my inventory a bit. All right, two times electronic parts. What else does it need? AV. Uh. Uh. I'm just going to do this because I don't know. Uh, rocket. It just needs two electronic parts and the steel sheets. Fine. Don't think I... Oh, wait, I've got two. Like I planned it. I don't even remember why I've got these. Oh, yes, I do. I was going to inc increase the size of the vent that was pulling in the pollutant to my cooling, but then it started working, so I figured, yeah, not needed. But uh, maybe it is needed. Right. Screwdriver. Steel sheets. And a welder. Nope. I need the welder. Okay. So now if I connect you, does that work? Go on, parent rocket, mass 1.1 kilonewtons, weight is 6 kkd, whatever TWR is, I have no idea. What do you mean no rocket's connected? It is connected. Liar. Ah, you're bugged. I know you are, you're bugged. No, what? I will get this. I will get this. Uh, I've got all those. I have placed on the rocket and connect between them. Yeah, 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 what's fine? I've done you. I've done you. A pair of rocket data links are created. Right. Do I need to put these rocket data links in? Uplink, downlink. So the uplink is going to go here. Well, don't tell me you need electronic parts. Screwdriver and heavy cable. That's fine. Keep that kind of thing. Oh, you. How many? Data link. So the uplink requires two electronic parts. The downlink requires. I need four. Do, 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 do. You know what I should have done is made a... I could have made the airtight bit first when I made the silo and I could walk back in and out to my workshop. That would have been a better idea. That would have been a much better idea. Right. Electronic parts. I need copper. You know what? I have so much of all these resources. Just make all those electronic parts. I don't even care. Low. Iron, copper. Let's just stick loads in. But literally nothing else to use my ingots on. Here, have it. Uh, here, have 500 iron. Make all of them. We're on four. That would do for now. Delta low, she just said. Uh, well, she's lying. Cancel. Right. Uh, was it screwdriver? Maybe. Yep. And then welding torch and steel sheets. Uh, 
Uh, okay. So, let me get you powered up. I don't even know if my base can support the power that this is going to be shouting at me. No rockets connected. Oh, I need to put a downlink in you. Uh, that one. So, rocket downlink. I do that. I've got to make sure I keep this cable somewhat accessible. So I can keep adding components in here. Let's go for cable coil. For oh normal cable coil. Okay, that's fine. Screwdriver and electronic parts. You and you. Uh you on? Yep, you are. I don't see any switch. So now Logic rocket downlink. Ah, oh my god. The hell is all this? Abandon? What does abandon do? Uh. Did that just delete my rocket? Are you taking the actual. Ah, uh, you saw nothing. Uh, so I'm just gonna get this data link built that I haven't done this yet. Uh, right, welding torch. Huh? What a surprise! I need a welding torch. Uh, okay, so wire cutters, cable. Uh, turn you on. Oh no, this isn't working. Oh, I know what I need. I need a data downlink. Let's put it in here. Oh, let's make sure uh, that I keep some of that cable uh, visible so I can get to it for other components. Uh, what else did I say? Oh, normal cable. Okay, that's fine. And then you want a welder and a steel sheet. Uh, no, I don't. I want a screwdriver and electronic parts. Okay, connect you up there. Fantastic. Okay. You still aren't work. Oh, yeah. We need to now connect this to the rocket. So, screwdriver. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. What the hell? Okay. <gasps> what does abandon do? I bet that deletes the rocket. So I'm not going to press that button. Nah, -uh, no way. Uh, so what we got? Confidence very high. At least that much of engine thrust wired. Auto land is enabled. Landing altitude 25 kilometers. Confidence very high. Oh, that looks nice. The hell is this though? Launch mount. Oh, is that where I am? Is that me? Location info? Select rocket. Mine idle. Oh my god. Total points re required to discover a new location. S oh, I thought this would just be launch a rocket, get me ice, bring it back. What is this? Places I've not discovered yet. Vulcan orbit. So we have to get to the orbit, set the destination. And then there's other places to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I should build this inside. Uh, target location none. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, rocket avionics unpowered. You are... You're not unpowered. How is that unpowered? I've just connected power to it. Oh, wait, no, that does look unpowered. Oh, okay. 
Oh, so it just has to have the data downlink and probably that in there as well. Got you. Now that's powered. Uh, okay. So, come, so if we turn... Okay, so green is on. What's orange mean? What? Oh, so I can't... What's going on? What's this doing? Oh, you can add favorites. Okay, let's delete all those favorites. What's this do? Look, uh, downlink is... Okay, that's connected, I guess. Okay, so we could turn the avionics on, the gas... You're green, you're orange, so you've got no fuel. It doesn't tell me anything about, like, what else is required as a minimum, though. This is just everything that's happening. So... Okay. So what else have we got there? So we've got the rocket battery. So if I chuck a... Oh, do I need multi multiple batteries or is one going to be enough? I don't bloody know. Um, we've also got power in, power out. So, should this all be connected to the battery first? Maybe. Might be a good idea. So, let's just... I'm going to take the avionics out. And... Well, I need the downlink to also be connected to the the battery, don't I? Uh, wire cutters. Uh, screw, uh, no, what do I need? Hand drill. Okay, and then we can take you down. Uh, wire cutters. And then hand drill. Uh, so this is actually in a really crap place because I'm I'm guessing I need to pipe into that. Yes. So I've got to have to work around that pipe. Maybe I have the tanks at the bottom. Can't connect you. Got a medium tank, which I was I was gonna make the medium, wasn't I? Placement that connect to a rocket needs it inside a fuse laser or via need more kit. We'll just make two smalls. It's fine. Um So I don't know how we do this. If I do you, you, because it needs to be connected to that, maybe I should move that power umbilical higher. Yeah, maybe that should be at the, like in the middle. Let's do that. We'll put you there. Uh, move this. Like so. Okay, turn you back on. Yeah, you're not going to work, but that's okay. That's fine. So, I need to... get you out. You're going to go here. And we will still have it at the angle. And then what we'll do is we'll have the battery wherever that has gone next. Where's the battery? Oh, there. So you've got power in, power out, and there's literally nothing more to it. So if I just do that there, there's logic for this as well. Five cable coils. Oh, I don't need why why does everything need electronic parts? Come on now. Okay, so if we do 
like this. Do you have an on switch? You do not have an on switch. So, do I connect the logic to the input or the output? I guess it needs to be connected to the output because we're going to be connected to the data link. So, if I do this and then connect everything off that. So, the avionics can go here. Uh, obviously, I have no idea where I'm putting anything, so we are winging this, as is... Well, I don't really need to say that, do I? It's quite obvious what's happening here. A screwdriver and electronic parts. Um, you, welding torch, and steel sheets. Okay. You're going to be getting power... You're currently unpowered. Oh, well, that's because you aren't activated. So let's do this. You now have power. So can I read the from the battery on here? Once I've got this connected. I do not have the date downlink thing. God damn. More electronic parts. We need all the electronic parts. While I'm in here, I'll get a drink uh, and some some food. Uh, how are we looking on water? 107 liters. Mm, that's all right. I I, I guess. We do have access to more water should we need to, so it's not the end of the world. Right now, anyway. I don't know if by building the rocket, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I have no idea. Um, but it's something that I haven't done um before so i'm just gonna wing it really so you're set to zero so if i turn you back on and you should just start up again fantastic you're not backed up so you're good we've got shed loads of iron fine that's a point how much coal have i got so far 160 stacks, six stacks of cobalt. Wow, we. I, I should probably feed that over to my generator at some point soon, to be honest. Right, 12 electronic parts. I think we can do better than that. So, give me 500 iron. Because I'll be honest, I don't know how many this is going to take. So, we'll just keep this coming. And copper. I'll slap some more copper in. That's fine as well. There we go. Make all the electronic parts. That's going to make me like 50 something. So let's get the data downlink in here. Oh, the gas fuel tank also requires cabling as well. Hmm. I should probably have got some insulated piping, but never mind. Uh, we'll, we'll get that in a second. Right, rocket downlink. So everything needs to be connected to this side of the battery. So I can put you could put you there and that way I'm not going to accidentally connect anything to that bit. Is it this? Yep. Then I think it was screwdriver and then I think it's the welder. Uh, and obviously I'm wrong. It's done. Never mind. So do this with the wire cutters. Right, now you can you connect. Do 
Boom. Okay. Fine. So we have everything. We've got the battery in here as well now. Battery is at full. Question is, how much power is that going to use? I don't know. Auto shut off. Auto land is enabled. Yeah, we want auto land. Um, rocket has depleted its batteries. No, it hasn't. You're lying. You're lying. Gone. Gone. Oh, you see, no errors now. We're fine. Uh, rocket has run out of fuel. Go away. Oh, okay. I see. So this is the bit that's telling me what the problem is at the moment. So now we need to get the fuel connected. In the rocket, does it... Does the fuel... I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, let's... We will just use normal pipes for now. For no other reason than... I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Then we'll just bring both of these up. Like so. Bring both those tanks down. Is this going to be enough fuel? Probably not. Do I know how much fuel I need? Absolutely no clue. Do I fill them with fuel or do I fill them with some kind of mixer? Again, all good questions. Uh, this can go. This needs to... So if we bring this across and just run this cable up. So that can be my power line to these. Like so. Uh, and there. Okay, so yeah, you've still went. It's it's now picking the caps the capsules up, but ratio hydrogen ratio. So I can literally put anything in there. Do I need to store the fuel, or do I mix it on the ship? Uh, maybe I store the fuel. As long as the fuel stays at a reasonable temperature, then we'll be fine. Or do maybe I mix it for that very reason. Can I put things like the gas mixer in here? So do I store one of those? How do I? Hmm. Uh. I don't know. Rocket. Igniting the rocket without a destination al set allows you to see a rocket's performance and fuel usage without launching the rocket. Expect to use 5 to 20 kilomoles of fuel per rocket trip. 5 to 20 kilomoles. How much can you hold? Is, is there a maximum? What's that 100? Is that kilomoles? Is that moles? Is that something else? Who the hell knows? Your engine. Batteries are hundred percent. Uh okay, so hmm. maybe I need to run my oxygen and volatile over here. That's gonna be a lot of pipes. I think I have a lot of pipes left. If not, I better get some printed. <laughs> oh yeah, where did this go? I don't know. Right, I do not have any insulated pipes. Bar seven. 
So let's do pipes. That's going to be 39. That is nowhere near enough. Do. Oh, I, I'm on the 500 silicon. Damn you. Took you in there. Need more steel. Gonna have to make some more steel at some point. Right, so you're making pipes. Uh, got plenty of electronic parts now. Thank you kindly. Um, there's a storm coming. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to have to run the pipes out. Mm. Am I going to store... Am I mixing it before I put it in the rocket? I just don't know the answer to these questions. I could mix it in the rocket. Or, well, I'm, I assume I can put these stuff in the rocket. But is there a benefit to doing that? <sighs> um, I guess I don't know if the the rocket gets warm. If I have a fuel can, then it's, uh, if that gets hot, it's gonna go up. Whereas if I split the two and mix it on the rocket, is, is that safer? Ah, let's not go for safe. Let's just go for easy, just to get the, get a feel for how it works. So I'm going to wait for those pipes to be printed and then we're going to run these two pipes outside somehow. I mean, I could just... I don't know how I'd get it out of here, but the oxygen is wrapped up pretty tight. Mm. I'll have to just jump over. Whoop. And then we just run them down here through there yeah we'll do that we will do that let me go and see what my co2 is doing but 29 degrees look at that look at that just by having three of these on they haven't run out of liquid but they've used a lot to get that down we're at 350 kPa, which means you're going to start pumping more CO2 in when you get the chance. You're at 29 degrees and still cooling. That's because... I don't know why you're still cooling. You've got no liquid in you. You are... Obviously, I've not been pumping any more water in, have I? So, maybe we turn this back on. So let's set you to, I don't know, 50 kPa. Only put small amounts in. Small amounts. Uh, oh yeah, it's too hot, so it's not going to pump anything in yet. That's fine. You're still evaporating, but you're not cooling anymore because I think you're pretty much at temperature. So this whole side is stopped now, which is fine. Um, you are still coming down. That's because these ones are going. You're still evaporating, aren't you? That went up. I saw it go up. Oh, it's going up quick. Oh, because you've kicked it. No, you're not kicked in. Why is that going up? Uh. Wait, what? I oh okay phew this came on and is uh cooling down the greenhouse that's why so we got a bit of a spike on our co2 the reason it, it takes uh it takes such a battery is because of the low pressure 
so it reacts to that temperature change a hell of a lot quicker than it would if it was a lot more pressurized once we've got the cooling sorted i'll i'll, I'll bump this number up uh but for now we've not even reached that so we are going to get another spike of temperature once this starts pulling in more co2 but that's fine um okay so let's go and get some of those pipes i'm gonna need a couple of tanks to store well no i don't need i don't need tanks do i because i've got um i've got tanks already inside the base there's no point in doubling my volume so all i'm gonna need is a couple of pressure regulators to make sure i don't over do anything um Make me a couple of them. That's plenty of pipes for now. So many that I've got no inventory space. Now I do. Thank you. Uh, I need to paint these. So I have volatile and oxygen. Duh and duh. Thank you. But nope. There. Uh, so we will mix, we will mix off the rocket. So I need a mixer. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. And... Oh, do I need to make a housing? Because of reasons. I have a spare circuit on me. So yeah, if I just make the housing, just because I'm going to want um, to program. One second, I can't uh, think and talk. Yeah, I don't want the mixer to be on if the oh, you know the words if the words are there then i don't want the mixer on if there's too much pressure in the pipe i don't want uh the mix oh so I'm, I'm also gonna need an analyzer as well then aren't i uh pipe analyzer uh that's one and we'll just read the pressure from this make sure the pressure isn't too much in the pipe and then yeah do its thing uh i have so much stuff now what don't i need get rid of you put you in there put you in there put you in there and now you can see I have spare slots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there's a storm blowing. Uh, well, I don't really want to go out into that, do I? Hmm. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we'll go out. If it gets too laggy, I'll cut, but let's see what happens. Uh, no, way too laggy. Storms are not your friend. You know what we're going to do is let me go through and let me just sort out all my airlocks. Let's get them set to zero, zero and just see if people are right or if people are uh, taking the biscuit and lying to me so we'll set this to zero 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 so if I click this Boom. Now, if I click it, it should depressurize. Oh, it does. Okay. 
Thank you, people. Very, very good information. Let me go and do that on all my airlocks. So set you to zero. Set you to zero. Uh, actually. The external pressure is zero. The internal pressure set that back to 50. So if we cycle to interior, it's pressurizing. Voila. And then if I go back outside, it should depressurize and then open the door. Well, would you look at that? Ain't that wizard. But one of an airlock to do. But we'll just set this one to zero, zero. For now. Uh, I don't know what was happening then. Confirm. Confirm. Done. And we'll just put you over here. Oh, I know what I can do, actually. Let's make some more steel while we're waiting, shall we? Nothing else to do while the storm is blowing. So if I take... Where's the housing that I had? Oh, I've left it in here. That's fine. So we're going to go iron, iron, iron. Coal, 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 coal. Ah, oh, we'll just empty it all. I'll come back in and pick it up. Right, so... Badam, 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 badam. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Iron, iron, iron. And then I need 500 coal. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. You're currently at an OK temperature. Let's turn you on. You're set to input. Nothing to input. Let's chuck this coal in. And chuck some iron in. Uh, you're still processing that, which is fine. All this coal is degassed, so we don't have to worry about it releasing anything. Oh my god, I keep uh, dragging my interface. And I think you're full. Okay, so we are losing some temperature. So in a second, we can turn on the cold tap uh, or or we'll turn on the hot tap. Is storm still blowing? Yep. So steel needs, I think it's 900k. Pretty sure it's 900. Yep, 900k and pretty much any pressure above one. So that's fine. I'm thinking we're going to release some of this pressure. We don't need that much in there. Oh, I just saw it finish one. Right, let's get some more of this chucked in. Oh, it's gone onto iron again. Right, hot. Feed in, please. There we go. Look, you can see the temperature going up. Nice. And turn it off. I'm going to keep it at a temperature so it can continue to process the, uh, the, the, the good that we're putting in. But I will remove some of this pressure. Oh, too quick, too quick, too quick, too quick. Thank you. No. Almost done.
Boom, boom, boom. Shake the boom. Mm -mm. I don't think I had any steel in here. No, it's all silver and bits of gold and just some lead. Nothing that's too... That just flashed up for a second there. We must have hit the perfect ratio for steel. And then... We didn't. I need more heat. Right, stop. Try and keep it above 900k. It will continue to lose heat whilst we're melting stuff. Come on. Now we're going to lose a bit more. More heat, please. Thank you. And it's about to get onto coal. We're going to be just above 900k, I hope so. 911, 912. Boom. So we have enough temperature in here, as long as it doesn't have a massive like cold spike. To pull the lever in a second. Boom, steel. Would you look at that? 2,000 grams, 2 kilograms of lovely steel. A hot tap is off, and I will take this. Thank you kindly. Uh, steel, where's my other one? There we go. Whoops. The hot tap is a, uh, yeah, massive, massive game changer. Massive. So give me stacks of 100 and you and you and you. There we go. We're all steeled up. Uh, yeah, I don't need you right now. So got all my stuff let's turn you off where's my chest at huh where the hell are my letters Eh? Hmm. Something funky is happening. I think Hal did more than just blow up my rocket. It's a thief. Right, so let's continue on this little guy, shall we? Oh, wait, no. Not this little guy. Where are my white pipes? I need to run the... Uh, well, hang on. First things first. Oh, where do I put this? Where does the drill go? I don't know. Eh? Uh... Doesn't tell me where they go. How do I install this onto the rocket? Maybe I need some kind of special mount? I don't know. Well, whatever. Uh, while I'm in here, let me put this in here. And then... Oh yeah, we're going to mix the fuel out here. So, we're going to go for... Special regulators. We will have. Don't know whereabouts it's going to come out, but that's the ele no, that's the elevator for upstairs. This is the one for downstairs. They're going to come out this way, so we'll have uh, one there and one there. They will both go into a mixer, so I can just do it there. And then the, the fuel will feed into the rocket. 
rocket cargo. Let's stick some of this in. Oh, no, we need more, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. This will fit. It'll fit right in the nozzle of the rocket. Uh, very big. Uh, well, you're going to have to sort your life out. And we'll put you this way. I have no way of... We can do it there. Then I can connect the power there. I can... Oh. Uh, no, I can't do that. Because how are you getting imported into there? Let's get the drill. So, not there, but there. We'll be fine. Because we won't be ejecting it from inside the rocket. I couldn't put that little bit down now if I knew if I wanted to. That's probably okay. Maybe. It doesn't have a lever really. It's it's all a it's all a floor. But what I will do though is I will move it into the middle. It's gonna annoy me if I do. There we go. Now I can do that look. Uh, cable wire cutters voila you can be turned on I don't know how that works well yes I do obviously you put stuff inside but I don't know how I'm supposed to mine oh! no, no, no 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 give me my head back If I knew you were going to use it, I'd leave it, but I don't think you will. Okay, fine. Uh, just go do the pipes. So I need to find my white pipes, because I don't know where they've gone. I could mix them. Oh yeah, the white pipes were in, were in here, right? Or did I leave them in the workshop? Maybe in the workshop. No. Where are my white pipes? They are there. Okay. I could mix the fuel in the base, but I don't want to have massive fuel lines because if something goes wrong, could blowy. So it's not happening. Instead, I will bring this pipe across here. Keep them both separate. Right, your stick there. And then I just need to get you out as well. I'm going to have to jump the volatile pipe. Don't. Nope. Nope. That's, that's not what we're doing. Come out. Then go up. Get back onto the wall. Corner and corner. Or pipe. And now we need to go outside. Probably I'm not going to have enough of these. So let's go get some more printed anyway. Uh, or... No, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough, so let's just keep getting more made. Uh, pipe. Uh, yes. You know what? Use all that steel. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Did I put... Hang on a second. I don't recall installing the transformer. Did I install the transformer? 
Did I make the transformer? Am I dreaming about the transformer? I'm sure I did. Uh, I am almost like 99% sure I made three transformers. How are you guys in there doing, eh? You're doing all right? You're not dying because of the heat? That's fine. That's good. Did I leave them downstairs when I was looking at my gas stuff? Huh. Maybe I didn't stop. No, they're there. I knew I... Ugh. Whatever. It's fine. We're okay. We're not completely losing our head. Just a little bit. Alright, quickly get a drink again. I feel like I'm having a drink all the time. It's just because of how much time I spend outside. There's so much water. Yum. Thank you. You and you. Cancel. Oh, crap. I'm too used to hitting cancel now. That's everyone else's fault for being helpful. Just wait it out and it'll sort itself out. Just wait it out. There we go. Right, so we should have those pipes poking through the wall. Uh, wherever the wall is. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, down here. Okay, so whereabouts am I in relation to that? So if I just bring you up to the level required, which is quite a lot higher. this level so if I bring you here then up then that way and then the oxygen can fit in that gap Definitely 100% nowhere near enough pipes. That is that. Um, and then we want these ones. to say i like the nuclear batteries 
they are very good. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, steel. Guess what? I've got tons of that stuff. Make me more. Maybe another 100 pipes. Okay, so volatile pipe is coming all the way across. Right, so just out of curiosity, how much do I have of each of these? I've got nine, almost 10 kilomoles in there and 13.5 kilomoles in there. So that's good. We've got plenty of those. Now these guys, I'm just going to set them to something low. They don't need to be too high. Where the hell is my labeler? Oh, in here? Yes. I'm just going to set you to a megapascal. Just one megapascal. Okay. Then I'm going to connect you to the mixer. Like a so. And then out of the mixer comes the fuel. So we need to get run this fuel to the launch tower. Uh, if I just do one more. I'm probably going to need a pump. Or will the umbilical thing work as a pump? I don't know. So if I, right, I need to put the umbilical in first. So let me go just get those from through the window. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I probably made too many of these knowing now how they work, but it's okay. So we have an umbilical gas here oh the cable would the pipe connection would be in the middle wouldn't it so if i stick that there um and i can i don't think i can run oh i can okay yeah, yeah we're fine do that like so there we go uh, and then on the other side of this, it's a going to need the gas. What? Placement that connects to a rocket needs to be inside a fuse laid or an umbilical. It is. Shut up. Uh, uh. I'm really worried that I'm going to lose this rocket. And look how much work it is just to get this connected. Right. You. 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 De and. Only another envelope connected this side. Oh, I done you the wrong way. Should it should be like that. Yes. Like that. And then I can get you powered. Uh we should. I don't think I can do this. Oh, I can. We do that. I can't hit the switch because you're stupid. Fine. Be that way. 
Let's bring you up into here. Turn you on. Connect the umbilical. Obviously, there's nothing going through right now because, well, you know. The question is, does, does this pump? Or do I have to put a pump? I don't know. Uh, so, let me do this and this. Duh. Bring you across here. Then you come across here. Uh, wire cutters are needed. And then while I'm here, get you connected. You and you. Okay, so I've got me volatile, my oxygen. They're going to be coming in, making sure that these pipes do not get above uh, one megapascal. This guy, so this is input two. So input two. Oh, I always get mixed up. It's one part oxygen, two part volatile, I think. I always... I, 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 I don't know why. Just lack of education, I think, is what this is. Um, I just wish you could just look up fuel. I don't remember. Uh, I mean, I can go and check my one that's inside. I can't remember where I found it. Uh, we look up oxygen... Uh, no volatiles. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, one part oxygen. Page two O is so two part oxygen. One part is so. Is it the other way? So it's. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, welder. Nope. Uh, blowtorch was it called? Welding torch. But it doesn't tell me the ratio. I have to go check it out. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, uh, I need. I might get a tattoo. And just say fuel is. Whatever it is, and I can just go. What's fuel? Oh yeah. Yeah, that would probably be uh, a bit next level, really, wouldn't it? <laughs> this is the wrong way. Oh, here we are. So you are doing input one at 66. Input, nope. Yeah, one part oxygen. Okay, fine. Thank you. One part oxygen. Uh, I'm going to make a pump just in case it's needed. We'll go for turbo. Then you off. Not made of power. Mm. Oh, maybe I put the pump in the rocket. Ooh, that's an idea. That way we have very little fuel being held in a pipe between the bump on the outside and the actual thingamabob. Can you put these in the rocket? I sure hope so. You can. Okay. So what I'll do is maybe raise these tanks. Uh, I can always not do the cabling like that, so, or, uh, no, because I need access to the fuel down there. Do I raise the whole umbilical up one? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to stick that there for a second. Uh, 
let me take these down and have a think. Um, stick you there. You need a hand drill. Okay, if I was to leave, I'm going to have to leave that in the middle because of reasons. So if I was to always do that. No, I don't want that. I want the pump to be between that and that. So I'm going to have to do a thing. Uh, if I just stick you there for a second. Take you out. I want a side socket. Uh, which is like that. But then I have a problem. Can I... I go angle. Can I flip it upside down? I can. So we'll do it that way. Which is fine. But then there has to be a pipe here. But if I go up there, because the problem is the volume pump, or the turbo volume pump, has logic and power on different sides just to make things really hard so if I was to do uh, I guess it's easy just to do that isn't it that way but then I need to tidy up this cabling so you stay there you go here uh you can uh i can send you down and you can go straight through there and i i should still be able to get this here okay that's that and then so as long as i don't bring you that shoot I just did this, this, and this. I can put two fuel tanks there. And then get both of those connected. Ah. So you are there, you are there. There we go. So we've got a gas, uh, those, those are connected. This comes in into the volume. We'll do that. No, not that quick, because I don't want to risk blowing these up. I will have to do some IC so that this doesn't overpressurize these. That should be alright. Can you see that on the You can. Turbo. I can turn this on from here. Okay. So anything I put inside the rocket can be controlled. That's fine. Uh, right, so analyzer because I do not want this mixer overpressurizing this pipe. So bring you across here. And so I need that these guys will just be on. You're on, you're on. And that should pressurize these to one megapascal, which is fine. They are both the same temperature, so that is also fine. So the mixing will be a perfect ratio. Uh, oh yeah, I need to sort out transformer. I need this on its own separate network. So let me just disconnect this power. And put a transformer former in but we're going to go medium like so we're going to set you to the maximum whatever that is can't remember is it 25,000 I think this let's just go do 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 it'll only go to its maximum anyway yeah 25,000 fine you are on perfect 
that. Okay. So let's get some labeling. Uh, do I need... Uh, yeah, we'll do some labeling. Oh, no, I don't need labeling right now. Do I? Because it's only these two. Gas mixer and the analyzer. Let me get my laptop. Oh, there's already one in there. Where have you come from? That's fine. Clear that. Pause the game. Okay. Alias the the analyzer to D0. Alias the mixer to D1. Start. Yield. Jump to start. So we're going to load into R0 from the the analyzer, the pressure, set less than into R0, where R0 is less than, let's say no more than five megapascals. Why am I doing it like that? I don't know. Um, so it's less than that, save to the mixer, the on is R0. Very simple code, but this will probably get, this will expand as time goes on. So put that in there. Eh in there you're gonna ever which is fine uh that is all insulated including what's in the rocket so there should be no heat scheme so we want a uh, pipe analyzer and mixer gas mixer that should come on. Pressure's building. Thinking about it, five megapascals is a lot, but it's fine. We've got uh, we've got quite a healthy supply of oxygen and uh, volatile anyway, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, so that's going to build up. We got well, obviously we now have a very flammable liquid, so we must not, under any circumstances allow that to warm up or allow it to leak into the world otherwise this whole thing is going to go okay so I could if I activate that now that connects that can I read from these oh no because that is off isn't it uh, so that's about to hit one megapascal. It's... I think it is part of the same network. That's fine. I need to IC that guy. Um, there was a rocket IC thingy-ma-bob. So, let's... Um, let's go and build that. I'm sure there was. I'm sure I saw one. Uh, this one. No, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Yeah, rocket circuit housing. I need solder. Solder. I've got nine in there. It's not a lot, but it should do the job. Is that enough? Yes. Rocket circuit housing. Boom. And we're gonna just stick you to have it's just one port. Okay, so as long as you are after wait, where's the battery? Oh yeah, power comes in up here, on it? Yeah. Uh okay, so wait, hang on. I'm trying to remember. 
Oh yeah, that's just logic there. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, 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 fine. So if I just connect you basically anywhere, I don't think it matters. Take you there. It's absolutely fine. You and you. And we can stick. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, are you going to be able to connect to. You can connect to the capsules. So I could batch read from the capsules. That's not going to. Because uh, they're going to. They are going to equalize aren't they? Or they should do. So I could batch read from the capsules. Turn this on if the pressure in the the problem is I don't know how much they can hold. Oh, the same as any other pipe. Sixty MPA. Okay. So I guess the idea is we would have put as much fuel in this rocket as possible, right? And what did rocket say? Uh expect to use that much kilomoles of fuel i don't know how many kilomoles two tanks is going to do so if i have to put more in i will we've got we've got space we can i mean i could put another tank here we, we, i could move things around this let me look at all the room we've got up here so yeah we, we could we could do it um so let's get our lappy top out and stick you in there. Clear that. Pause this. Okay. Alias the fuel pump to G0. Define uh, tanks. Uh, so if I look for the capsule, define them to that. Start, yield, jump to start. I'm only assuming this is how this is going to work, how it's going to work. Uh, I can't imagine it being any different. So we're going to load batch into R0 from the tanks, the, the pressure, and then we want to, I guess, the average because th they should equalize I don't think it will use one tank over another so the average and so then now we can just work as if we're working on a single tank so set less than into R0 where R0 is less than Let's go for 50 MPA. I don't know how much fuel this is going to put in. And I also don't know if the rockets take fuel as a weight. I think they probably do. Look, because I, I, I vaguely remember on that screen it gave me loads of stuff. Um, save to the fuel pump. The on is R0. So if I export that, stick you in there. You should ever. So you need to be the fuel pump. Turbo pump. That's going to take a while. I mean, I could make it quicker but I don't have a massive fuel reserve at the moment so there's no point I might as well just wait I mean I could increase the pressure on the back of this and then maybe it would speed this up so if I was to go does that make you any quicker? I don't think it works that way does it? Pretty sure it doesn't work this way. No. That's fine. I'm happy to wait. I would rather wait and be safe than 
uh, cause a massive problem. We're already on three megapascals, so yeah, we'll wait it out. Okay, so now I have the fuel. I don't understand where this goes. Where do I put this? Mock up me and use rocket, rocket miner and cargo storage small. Oh, okay. Gathers available resources at the rocket's current space location. Right, let's go and make a rocket miner. Can we see in here? Oh, yeah, we can see the total moles. Should be the same across both of them, although it doesn't look like they are balancing out. Pressure is at 5 megapascal in that one. And yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. The volume is 250. Oh, that's the liquid volume, isn't it? You can handle. But we're never going to hit a liquid volume, so we're not bothered. Uh... Actually, when it burns through the fuel, where's it venting out the pollutant? Does it vent out the pollutant? I, 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 I guess the, the venting out is coming out of here, isn't it? So, yeah, fine. Uh, okay, we need to go make a rocket miner module thing. Let's do that. I'm just so uh, it's fine I can go through my other airlock it's not a problem go away I will take you right I need a rocket miner Invar and Constantin both of which I have I don't know where my Constantin is It is there. Just seen more invar, so let me grab that one instead. Right, one of those. Anything else that I need while I'm in here? Wait, tank caution. Oh, I will go and sort that out now, shall I? Let's uh, recharge, rest, do our thing. Thank you. Temperature in there is 25 degrees. Nice. Means the CO2 and the water, actually. The water in there is venting the heat in there. So chances are the water that we've got is also at 25 degrees, which is also nice. I don't know how I've got a stack of 54 wheat in there. I'm not going to complain. It's fine. I've got a lot of flour. We're in no rush whatsoever on that. Even if all of our plants died, we've got plenty of... Um, plenty of seeds. We've got plenty of food. Water we, we're, we're producing. So, yeah, I'm not concerned about anything. Thank you. And also, what does this need to be made? Two electronics parts. I have 10 on me. We are good. I don't need these umbilicals. We know how they work now. Uh, rocket miner we're going to make. There is nothing else. So, transformer. We're using heavy cable, so I'm not bothered. Um, rocket scanner. What does the rocket scanner do? I assume it scans. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Uh, it don't tell me. So... I don't know. I don't know whether I need that or not. So we've got a scanner head. Oh, I see. Drill and scan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I need to scan? The 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. Uh, it's fine. We've got the miner. We've got the miner head. I don't know if I have to send one up there to scan. And then I send one up afterwards to mine. I hope not because that's a lot of work. A lot of resources. It, it probably is correct. Oh, do I... I'm going to assume that's what we're going to do, actually. Yeah, I will keep... I'm going to make a locker. The rockets have to go outside. Uh, locker. And we're going to... store, like, rocket pieces outside. Because I don't want to have them in, in here. Then obviously not going to be built in here. Uh, right, so once you've done that, give me the scanner head. Uh, we don't want that afterwards. Uh, more complex may use rocket miner and cargo storage small. Oh, actually tells me there, look. A rocket scanner is used to chart unknown locations and discover mineable asteroids. Okay. So, we are going to do the rocket scanner first. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. We figured that out without you telling me. Uh, I'll do that now. Uh, right, what else can you make? Anything else that we're going to need? Access bridge. What's an access bridge? Is that, is that where our I'd sit? Extendable bridge that spans three grids. Why do I need that? I guess you could make an elevator to get up to the top because you can, I assume you can probably put a seat inside the rocket. Is there a seat? What does the celestial tracker do? What's this? The horizontal and vertical output is low class the annotation of the tracker. You can calibrate your alignment by comparing the result. Uh, I don't care about the telescope right now. I, I'm just going to send me rockets up and see what happens. Uh, right, let's leave it at that for now. Got my electronic parts. I'm going to get some more steel sheets. Uh, yes, I will take another 50. And then some. Oh, this has a percentage on it. So we do have to keep... Oh, yeah. Oh, there, look. So we, we are going to have to constantly replace our heads. Even a scanner. Why would a scanner head run out of durability? Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, that side got outside, so that is fine. Neum. Uh, locker. I'm going to put the locker here. That's fine. We'll just go for a medium shelf. I don't care. Uh, now... I wish you could tell more easily about which way this is facing. There we go. Uh, gas umbilical, gas umbilical, miner, rocket miner. So I need to put scanner in here somewhere. Bloody scanner is a uh, a bit big has one data port connection so if I 
Nope. If I do that. that and then I, I should be able to get that connected. So is it the welder I need for you? Or is it going to be the screwdriver and these? Nope. Welding torch and steel sheets. Okay, so that is the... Oh, okay. So you just stick them in. Alright, that's easy enough. Go away. Boom. Then we go cable. Like so. So I don't need to worry about the shoot, catching the shoot system up right now, do I? Because, well, there's nothing to shoot in or out of it, so it's fine. <clears throat> Um, right, let me just check my fuel. So we've got, I mean, we only have, like, what, two kilomoles in there at the moment? But it's not, I guess it is fuel. But as it gets hot, oh no, that's, I need more fuel in there, don't I? I would say, because that's, because the, the thingy says, the thingy says, expect to use between 5 and 20 kilomoles of fuel per rocket trip. That is currently 2. Do I need a bigger rocket? I could potentially fit some more of these in, but they also need access to the cable at the top uh, I mean obviously I've got a lot of empty space here which isn't great mm. could stick a could stick a fuel can there that would give me room for the pipe I could do the same. No, I couldn't do it there because that's in the way. That's my battery that has. To... Oh, I should probably work like top to bottom, shouldn't I? I've completely messed this up. We're going to make some more of the fuel capsules. Let's try and stick some more in there. I might also find that the medium one would have been a better choice. I could also make the the rocket bigger. I just don't know if obviously the more I build on this rocket the heavier it's gonna get, so I'm not sure I don't want to do that right now. Make me another couple of these. I've got enough pipes, I've got enough cable. My code is batch reading, so just adding these in it should sort itself out. Um, if I was just do one, oh, I, I, I will never know. So we'll just go for another two for now. It's weird that it says between f five to twenty kilomoles. That's a massive range. Um, I think. Well, I'm gonna have to run a test, aren't I? Really, I need to make sure I don't do anything ridiculous here um i think we're gonna we will we will make it bigger i think we have to so let's go for another fuse ledge <sighs> i'll leave that going i'm Part of me is like, it's probably fine. One thing I'm going to do, and 100%, I know this is cheating, it doesn't go with the rest of the playthrough. I'm not just going to send my rocket up and then be like, ah, okay, yeah, fucked it, I need to rebuild it. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, this is so expensive. 
and I'm still trying to figure it out. Normally you do creative mode maybe to figure this out. Where I'm not. I'm doing it in survival. So I built all this from scratch. But I refuse to lose it until I figure out how to do it. So I will save the game. And kind of have a play. To see what I can figure out. And if I have to reload, I'll reload and try and make changes to it. Hopefully, who knows, we'll get this in the first go. But it's very unlikely, isn't it? Uh, I can't put you there, can I? Because you'll get to the wrong pipe. Uh, I could put it... I can put it there. But I'll have to move that. Now, I'm not using that right now anyway. So let's just get rid. That can always go right up into there, couldn't it really? Um, actually, let's do that. Put it right up at the top. I'm going to assume that's not going to stick out later. We'll, we'll see. Oh no, I can't put it there because of the, the cabling. It needs to go there. And then we can cable from there. So that gives us a bit more space to play with. Um, don't have an easy way to access the fuel though. So unless I run that pipe across, uh, let's try it. So I'll be able to do this, do this. Uh, I think I've got this corner space. I could. Can I put a cable there? I can do that. So I could put a tank there and fuel in the bottom. And then. On the other hand, I could do that. That'll work. So if I do this, bring you down. Now that is connected to number two tanks, but I need to connect your logic. So. Uh, let me think. If we send you up, because you're going to have to connect to this anyway eventually. Then I just need to connect you to... If I get rid of that, have that as a cross, then don't do that, but instead... Freeway corner, corner, that's in the way of the shoot, we will worry about that at some other point, not really concerned about that right now, I don't even know if it's a problem, um, okay, so I should now have 25.4 megapascals in there, We have almost two kilom. I've lost. Oh, because the pipes are a sep. What's the. Uh... You've got total moles, total moles. You. you... Oh, you're two, two. Oh! So actually, is that eight kilomoles that I've got there? It says rocket has run out of fuel, but it hasn't. It's got fuel now. Oh, is that the old message? Oh, the message isn't coming back up now. That's good. That's good. Um, battery is at one hundred percent. 
ground velocity is always zero. Mass, rhyme mass, thrust weight, thrust to weight. So, I guess the idea would be we send the rocket up here. And then from there, it can reach out to these different waypoints. So there, there is nothing there. We can survey, we can do whatever. What's that mean? Nav points charted at this location. Total chart points generated. Discover points, sites discovered, surveys. Ugh. What does high? I don't know what high means. Uh, confidence high. At least 10.9 kilonewtons of thrust. Okay, so I'm going to do what I don't normally do. Uh, I'm going to quick. I'm going to save as. I've created backups because I'm having problems uh, with, like I said, with crashing. If we go, uh, wait, wait, what am I doing? Save as backup, save, override. Save as, right. So what we'll do is we'll call this launch one. I don't even know if we can launch now. I wonder how close I am to having a functioning rocket. What else does this need? I have, I can communicate with it. Everything, everything's fine. So let's give this a go. And you know what? It does feel like cheating, but I don't fancy having to rebuild all this again from scratch while I have no idea if it's going to work or not. Uh, can I do this? Oh yeah, there we go. sticking out that's probably okay so just out of curiosity if I retract you retract you and have a look the battery is at 100% I could turn off the the turbo pump oh no it's on isn't it because of the coding Oh, um, hang on a second. I know what I want to do to stop that because that's going to be wasting power that I don't need to be happening right now. So let me reconnect you. Uh, what we'll do, because if you have a look here, that pipe's going to be going empty very soon. So I'll set it up so that if that pipe, if the input is, uh, well, if it, assuming it has an input, and then load into R1 from the fuel pump, the pressure input. Yeah, pressure input. Set greater than zero to R1. Where R, so if R1 is greater than zero, and into R0, R0 and R1. So we're checking the pressure on the output, but then we're also checking the pressure on the input. If I confirm that, ah! put you in there, export. Ooh, what's the deal? What's, what's your issue? Line nine. What's wrong with line nine? Load into R1 from the fuel pump, the pressure input. It does the, okay, maybe it doesn't have pressure input. Turbo fuel pump. It doesn't, I can't do that. Ugh. And I have no way of. Uh. Is still pumping just slow. 
maybe I do need to just turn it off manually because what I can't there's no nothing input so you know what let's just cancel that it doesn't work so get rid of you get rid of you get rid of you confirm export stick it in and I will have to uh, oh I could turn the housing off since it's only controlling the pump so the the housing can go off the pump can now go off if I turn that on the pump comes back on so yeah that works uh, so you can see total moles is oh, that so what's that 2300 2300 2300 uh, so they're all at 2300 which is what's that like 9200 moles so we're about half of what it says we could potentially use so the question is do I launch it because I, d I don't know if I can oh wait no I can't because it's it's got a massive hole in it let's sort that hole out okay so ah uh, it's fine we've already saved it uh, it's a very small rocket it's not a massive thing if I retract that, uh, we don't want to do that. So how are you doing for power? 94%. How have we already lost 6% power? That because the pump was on. Let me just, uh, I extend that out again. Is that going to charge back up? Come on. Charge up. Where's battery? It's using charge but not charging. Why? Because that isn't the charge. This is the charge. That's why. There we go. 98 99 100% Okay Can we launch this rocket somehow? How do we do it? I have no idea So if I Take you as the destination It's going to go there and then I've got my rocket scanner, which I could turn on when it gets up there. So do I just turn the pump gas engine on? I don't see any other way of launching it, so... Oh! Ha! My rocket went! Oh, it's in the sky. <laughs> ah, look, it's there. So I can keep an eye on my fuel. Altitude. ETA is going to get there in 20 seconds. You can see it using my oxidizer and my volatiles. Will it stop using it when it gets up there? Or is it going to crash into something? So it stays there. Okay, so it's arrived at the Vulcan orbit. Okay, and... Okay, so... How do I tell it to scan? Oh, 
Oh, okay, we're charting something. Don't know what this is doing, but it's doing something. Uh, so we're getting okay. I'm gonna quickly go in into my waste can while that's doing some charting, whatever that means. Um, oh, I'm so excited! I've got a rocket. <laughs> my little baby rocket's gone up, but I need to not lose it because it's bloody expensive. Uh, right, quickly empty. I've got more important things than worrying about my waste tank and my oxygen. I've got a very expensive rocket up there in space somewhere. No! Stop pressing the thing. Just click it and walk away. Quick, 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 quick. Get to my control tower. No, my control thing in the bubble. I'm so excited. So we've still got access to it. That's fine. Battery is at 95%. A new nav point has been charted. Oh, Creon. Oh, so we can go here. Uh, I want to go here. But we've got to wait for it to do its charting. How's your power? 94%. So it doesn't use any fuel while it's up there, which is obviously nice we're just getting these chart points I don't know what these chart points do can't mine can't survey because we're not at anything I don't think total points required to fully chart this location so we just leave it up there let it do its thing oh sparse vapors Do we go to that? How's our fuel? We're we're probably okay. So set destination. And if we wanted to, we could tell it to come and land. So let's go over here. I guess we turn on the gas engine. Okay. And we should use less fuel now, right? Because we're in space, technically. We're in the vapors. Boom. And now you've stopped using fuel, which is... Well, I should hope. Oh, yeah, there we go. Stop using fuel. So we're fine. Uh, okay, so the location... Discover. Current action discovering. Don't know what this means. I don't know what it's doing. What does Discover do? Oh, I see. So we found water vapor and oxygenated vapor. So we could take we could we could get our water just as that. Okay, I haven't got anything to store it in. Sites discovered at this location. So I guess you just continue to discover it. It'll just take a while. Okay. So what I would like to do now is I would... Okay. Do I going to it's off or unpowered? Oh. Okay. It wasn't actually doing anything. That's fine. How, how much power are we on? 91%. Fuel is fine. Uh, wait, what's going to happen when you do this? Discover progress 30 of 100. Total discover points generated at this location. So each location you get these discover points. 
so I need to hit that. So I'm using power to, to do the discovery, which is fine. Okay. So we've got to do this one and then one more. What's going to happen? Oh, sites discovered at this location. So there's multiple. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, water vapor. Oh, we're going to find multiple vapors. So I could go there and harvest water. Got you. Okay, so stop doing this now, please. You you can go idle for a bit. Uh. Okay, I guess the next thing I want to do is I want to get it to try and land. Because I assume there's more to this. So I turn the rocket scanner off. To keep that on, keep the battery on. So, can I, if I just do this and go set destination, and then turn on the pumped gas engine, so it's going to take this shortest route back. So if we were over here, it would have to go all the way up, all the way down. So we're just about to hit orbit. Now it's coming down. Now, do I have to do anything for it to come down? Or will it just look after itself? Because it's set to auto land. So I'm hoping we're at 18 kilometers height, 17 kilometers of fuel. We use quite a lot of fuel. But that's fine. So that yeah, all we gotta do is put more fuel. Ca I can see it. I can see it. You see it flashing. Just there, like a little blue star, just in the middle, just there. Come on, please land. Please be clever enough and land straight. Don't just come crashing into my base. Come on, I can see it if I walk. Oh, here we go. It's now staying as a star. No, it's gone. Are you still coming? Yep, five kilometers. I think I can see it. Come on. I think this deserves a screenshot if this thing lands. Where is it? You can hear it. Here it comes. A big ball of blue light. Please slow down, please slow down, please slow down. Oh, yes. a rocket and it landed down safely oh yes that is not actually that difficult um, obviously I've got a very small rocket 
is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I guess I would have, if I went over here, maybe I'd find more stuff, more things for me to mine maybe. But here we have access to water vapor. So if I can figure out a way to collect those vapors, that would be good. Um, oh yes, that is a, that is not bad. That is all right. I went up, did some scanning, did some discovering. And we got it back in one piece. I just want to see. Was there anything that would allow us to collect? How would we collect the, the vapor? Don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Assuming we can collect the vapor. Ah, that's a problem for next time, I think. I'm well chuffed. I've got a working rocket. Now I need to get it to uh, to be refueled and recharged. The power. So we've got one little battery in that, and that's keep that that kept it powered and long enough for it to get up and get down. So that's good. Fuel, yeah, obviously I can make the rocket bigger, we can reorganize it and all that kind of stuff. Let me actually get the fuel and the power reconnected. Uh, rocket, there we go, it's charging. Uh, we could turn on the volume pump again, start getting it all repumped in. The circuit housing, yeah, we could turn you on as well. Yeah, there. I got no qualms about that whatsoever. We use a lot of fuel on re-entry. A lot of fuel on re-entry. Um, so we need to just bear that in mind. That we're going to use a lot more fuel coming in than what we are going out. Um, but as, as light as it currently is with nothing, it used about... Actually, I don't know. I don't know how many. Probably a thousand. Yeah, probably a kilomole. A fuel just to re-enter but yeah that's that's all right that is all right well screw you how wherever the hell you are I've got myself a rocket um yeah I don't know what his problem was to be fair I don't know what he's what, what he's doing he just abandoned me here and then he comes and starts blowing my shit up so yeah he can do one if I see him again. Alright, well I'm going to go in and get some water, get some food, have a lie down as a, it's been a very eventful day. We've been attacked by a bloody crazy-headed bloody robot thing. Uh, we built and launched and retrieved a rocket. So I'd say that's a win. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh... Now I kind of understand the basics of the rocket. Happy for you to leave comments. I thought it would take me longer, to be honest. I thought it'd be a bit more... I'm not saying it's not complex, but I'm surprised I've been able to to do that. I, I still can't do face change, but I can launch a rocket. Whatever. Um, but yeah. So, until next time, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.